They have tied me to a stake. I cannot fly, but bear like I must fight the course. What's he that was born of a woman? Such a one am I to fear or none? What is thy name? Thou be afraid to hear it. Know thou though, callest thyest a hotter name in hell. My name is Mike Beth. The devil himself could not pronounce a title more hateful to mine ear. No, nor more fearful. Thou liest a horde, try with my sword. I'll prove the lie thou speakest. <laughs> You may have shocked me, but I will strike back! <laughs> Thou wast born of woman, but swords I smile at, weapons laugh to scorn, brandished by man that's of a woman born. That way the noise is tyrant, show thy face, if thou be slain and with no stroke of mine. My wife and children ghosts will haunt me still. I cannot strike at wretched, kerns who arms are hired to bear their slaves. Either thou, Macbeth, or else my sword will in unbattered edge, I sheathe again unneeded. There thou, shouldest be by this great clatter, one of the greatest notes seem brooded. Let me find him fortune. And more, I beg not. This way, my lord, the castles gently render. The tyrant's people on both sides do fight. The noble things do bravely in the war. The day almost itself professes yours, and little is to do. We have met with foes that strike beside us. Enter, sir, the castle. Why should I play the Roman fool? and die on my own sword. I see lives, the gashes do better upon them. Turn, hellhound, turn. Of all men else, I have avoided thee, but get thee back. My soul is too much charged with blood of thine already. I have no words, my voice is in my sword, thou bloodier villain then terms can give thee out. Thou losest labor as easy mayst, thou the entrenchant heir with thy keen sword and press as make me bleed. Let fall thy blade on vulnerable crest. I bear a charmed life which must not yield to one of woman born. Despair thy charm and let thy angel whom thou still hast served tell thee Macduff was from his mother's womb, untimely ripped. Accursed be that tongue that tells me so, for it hath cowed my better part of man, and be these juggling fins no more believed that palter with us in a double sense, that keep the word of promise to our ear and break it to our hope. I'll not fight with thee. Then yield, thou coward, and live to be the show, and gaze o'er oh, the time. We'll have thee as our, our monster ab, painted upon a pole, and under. Here may you see the tyrant. I will not yield to kiss the ground before young Malcolm's feet, and to be baited with the rabble's curse. Though Burnham would become to Dunciane, and thou opposed, being of no woman born, yet I will try the last. Before my body, I throw my warlike shield. Leon, Macduff, and damned be him that first cries, hold, enough. Oh, Macduff. I would the friends we miss were safe arrived. Some must go off, and yet by these I see, so great a day as this is cheaply bought. 
Your son, my lord, has paid a soldier's debt. He only lived but till he was a man. The which no sooner had his prowess confirmed. In the unshrinking station where he fought, but like a man, he died. Then he is dead? I and brought off the field, your cause of sorrow must not be measured by his worth, for then it hath not end. Had he his hurts before. Aye, <laughs> on the front. One. Why then, God's soldier be he, had I as many sons as I have ours. I would not wish them to a barrier death, and so his nail is gnawed. He's worth more sorrow, and that I'll spend for him. Go. He's worth no more, they say he parted well and paid his score, and so God be with him, here comes newer comfort. All hail, King of Scotland! All hail, hail King, King of, of Scotland. Scotland! We shall not spend a large expense of time before we reckon with your several loves and make us even with you. My thanes and kingsmen, henceforth be earls, the first that ever Scotland in such an honored name. What's more to do? Which would be planted newly with the time as calling home our exiled friends abroad that fled the snares of watchful training, producing forth in cruel ministers of this dead butcher and his friend like queen? And what needful else that calls upon us by the grace of grace? We will perform in measure, time, and place. So thanks to all at once and to each one whom we invite to see us crowned at scone.